For this video, we'll show you the hard reset procedure for an Eplex E2000 series lock when the user knows the master code. A hard reset will return the lock to factory mode, which includes deleting all codes, resetting the factory default values, and making the master code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First, be certain the lock is powered. Next, on the inside or back housing, remove the top right screw holding the lock to the door. Insert a long, non-metallic, blunt-ended tool in the screw hole to press and hold the reset to factory default button. With the reset button depressed, you have up to five seconds to push the pound button and release the reset button. The lock will display the reset sequence and progress message by flashing green and red lights alternatively once every second. In this state, users have a 20 second period to enter the master code followed by the pound button. If the correct master code is entered within 20 seconds, the lock performs a hard reset and goes back into the unprogrammed state. Besides entering the correct master code, there are a couple more scenarios that may happen. If no master code is entered during the 20 second delay, the lock will enter a 15 minute wait period assuming the master code is unknown. If an incorrect master code is entered, the lock exits the reset sequence state and goes back into the access state. Keep in mind, when an incorrect master code is entered, the tamper count decrements. After four unsuccessful attempts, the lock goes into tamper shutdown state for 30 seconds. It will resume normal operations after this delay. Reinstall the top right screw holding the lock to the door. This concludes the hard reset procedure with a known master code for the Eplex E2000 lock.